this is a cello tape roll so I'm going to roll it from here this is part A and that's part B this cello tape roll it rolls in a straight line from part A to part B now if this cello tape roll is to roll from a part A to part B in a straight line and it is not interrupted it means it will have covered a certain distance in a certain time frame now let's assume that the distance between A and B is a hundred kilometers and this cello tape when it was rotating running from A to B it did cover this a hundred kilometers in a certain time frame so if we wanted to find the speed by which this cello tape roll was able to move from this point down to this point for us to be able to find that speed means that we are going to get the total distance covered from A to B and we divide that by the total time taken for the cello tape roll to move from A to B and in that case it means that that to get the distance covered means that it's going to be 100 kilometers which is the distance covered divide that by the two hours it took we are now assuming that it took two hours to move from A to B so for us to be able to get the, the, the answer here definitely is 50 kilometers and it is going to be 50 kilometers per hour that is the speed now 50 kilometers per hour means that if this cello tape roll continued to travel even beyond the point B and it continues moving in a straight line without interruption it means that for every one hour it will be covering 50 kilometers that is what we mean by 50 kilometers per hour that for every one hour it will be covering 50 kilometers and this is definitely what we call constant or uniform speed just like we've seen before the formula for finding constant or uniform sp speed is simply b going to be equal to the distance covered divided that by the time so we get a kind of uh, formula that constant speed is going to be equal to distance over time and if you are to make this a, a, a flat equation meaning we multiply time on both sides to make it a flat equation to eliminate this fraction it's going to become distance traveled is going to be equal to speed times time so in most of our workings where we are going to get we are we will be dealing with motion in a straight line it is very important that we put this commit this to memory that distance traveled is going to be equal to speed times time but you realize that speed shares the same units with velocity for example if you have to look at it here we will know that our velocity is the measure of speed in a specified direction so this brings us to the difference between these two speed is a scalar quantity velocity is a vector quantity we all know that when we, we are talking about scalar quantities scalar quantities are simply physical quantities that only have magnitude and these ones include things like mass density area and then vector quantities are qu physical quantities which have both magnitude and direction and here we are talking about things like velocity we are talking about things like acceleration displacement and so forth so speed and velocity have the same units only that one is a scalar quantity the other is a vector quantity so when we are talking about speed and velocity the units will always be the same We'll head straight into a few examples. Find the distance traveled in five hours by body moving at a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So to summarize our question, we, uh, we have our time there being five hours. And we are talking about a body moving at a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour. So it means that the speed, which I'll call it V, is going to be equal to 30 kilometers per hour. So they're asking us to find the distance. Distance, which we shall denote by S, is going to be equal to speed, which is V times time. And now our value of V is 30 kilometers, so it's 30 kilometers per hour. Multiply that by the time taken, which is 5. And definitely here, our, this is 5 hours. So it means that 30 times 5 is 150 so our distance is 150 and of course this hour and that hour cancel you mean with kilometers so it's kilometers so our distance traveled there is 150 kilometers 
A body traveling at a constant speed covers a distance of 4 kilometers. In 3 minutes, find the speed of the body. So we know that the body is traveling at a constant speed. So the constant speed V. The constant speed is not given, you're supposed to find it. Covers a distance of 4 kilometers. So the distance S is 4 kilometers in a time frame of 3 minutes. So the time given here is 3 minutes. And so here we need to find the speed of the body. So definitely we know that the general formula is that the distance is going to be equal to speed times time. We know that the distance is 4 kilometers is going to be equal to the speed which is not given which we are looking for times the time which is 3 minutes. Now for us to find the, this, we are supposed to make sure that our units are harmonizing. We are having our distance here in kilometers and our time here in minutes. It means that our speed will be in terms of kilometers per minute. Now we need to convert these minutes to hours so that the speed we are able to get is in kilometers per hour, not in kilometers per minute. So it means we first convert this minutes to hours. Converting that to hours means we are going to divide this by 60 minutes. So we make V the subject of the formula and find the value of V. So here we did, we are, when we make V the subject of the formula in this case, this 60 is multiplied on both sides and then we divide both sides also by 3. You end up with 4 kilometers here, this is in kilometers, and multiply that by 60, 60 is in of course here 3 over 6 these minutes cancel and you mean with 3 over 60 hours because we are converting these 3 minutes to hours so it means that here we are having kilometers and uh, we are dividing that by hours one, this is 1 over 3 over 60 hours so for us to have gotten these units meant that it is 4 times 20 what we are getting here is 80 kilometers divide that by hour that's why we call it kilometers per hour and that is uh, the speed.